What's good YouTube? This is RPU here and I'm back again with another video. And guys, are you ready for some more free money? Pinch me, I must be dreaming. Because the federal government has authorized a third round of stimulus checks through the American Rescue Plan that was passed in 2021. In this video, we'll cover who qualifies and how to claim your $1,400 recovery rebase credit. Let's get it. So let me tell you guys how I had found out about this information. Um, I was checking my email, but I get emails from the postal service about my regular mail. They have a feature where like they'll scan your letters and tell you what's coming in the mail. So it's a pretty cool feature, but today there was a letter coming from the Department of Treasury. And I'm like, the Department of Treasury? That sounds like a stimulus check because that's where all the stimulus checks come from, right? And so I hit my cousin up. I said, bro, are you expecting a stimulus check? He was like, nah. I said, well, why am I getting a letter from the Department of Treasury? Like, So I started digging around and found out that there is a third well, they call them economic impact payments, but basically that's a stimulus check and a third round of stimulus checks went out. And so we're going to read this article from the IRS and read the eligibility requirements and how to claim this $1,400 check. So it says all third economic impact payments issued. Parents of children born in 2021, guardians and other eligible people who did not receive all of their third round economic impact payments can claim up to $1,400 per person through the 2021 recovery rebate credit. First of all, I didn't even know there was a third round of stimulus checks that went out. And I never received a third stimulus check. Did you receive a third stimulus check? Let me know in the comments. So, this is from January 26, 2022. Washington. The IRS announced today that all third round economic impact payments have been issued and reminds people how to claim any remaining stimulus payment they're entitled to on their 2021 income tax return as part of the 2021 recovery rebate credit. So if you did not get a third stimulus check last year, you will be able to claim this $1,400 on your 2021 income tax return. So that's cool. You know, I haven't even filed my taxes yet, which is great because now I can claim this on my taxes and get $1,400 back. Let's go. So, these are the people who qualify. Some of the people. Parents of a child born in 2021. So if you just recently had a baby. Or parents and guardians who added a new qualifying child to their family in 2021. So if you had any dependents on your taxes in 2021. And you did not receive a third stimulus check for that child you may be eligible to receive up to $1,400 for the child by claiming the recovery rebate credit. While some payments of the economic impact payments from 2021 may still be in the mail, including supplemental payments for people earlier this year, receive payments based on their 2019 tax returns, but are eligible for a new or larger payment based on their recently processed 2020 tax returns. The IRS is no longer issuing payments as required by law. Through December 31st, the IRS 
issued more than 175 million third round payments. Wow, I didn't hear nothing about that. I didn't get a stimulus check. None of that. The IRS issued more than 175 million third round payments totaling over 400 billion to individuals and families across the country while simultaneously managing an extended filing season in 2021. Third round stimulus checks were advanced payments of the 2021 recovery rebate credit. So some people got their credit in advance, basically. And if you didn't get it in advance, you qualify for it now. <laughs> Lucky me. In late January, the IRS began issuing letter 6475. I think that's the letter that I'm getting just now in the mail. Your third economic impact payment to recipients of the third round economic impact payment. So if I'm getting the letter, that means I'll qualify. Hello. <laughs> this letter will help economic impact payments recipients determine if they are entitled to and should claim the recovery rebate credit on their 2021 tax returns when they file in 2022. The American Rescue Plan of 2021 signed into law on March 11th. 2021 authorized a third round of economic impact payments. Where was I at? Where was I at? I didn't hear nothing about that. I was too busy. I was. I guess I was too busy claiming airdrops. <laughs> so the American Rescue Plan at 2021 signed into law on March 11, 2021, authorized a third round of economic impact payments and required them to be issued by December 31st, 2021. The IRS began issuing these payments on March 12, 2021 and continued through the end of the year. So it says eligible parents of children born in 2021 and families that added qualifying dependents in 2021 should claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit. Most other eligible people already received the full amount and won't need to claim a credit on their tax return. So if you already got it, don't claim it, bro. You don't want to play with the IRS, bro. That's the feds. The IRS does not play. But there are still going to be people out there who are still going to play with the IRS just like they played with that PPP money. I can already see it coming. But there are more people that qualify, which I'm going to show you. There are more people that qualify besides people that had kids, and I'm going to show you. Um, it's income-based. Um... The third round of economic impact payment was an advance payment of the tax year 2021 recovery rebate credit. The amount of the third round of stimulus check was based on the income and number of dependents listed on an individual's 2019 or 2020 income tax return. The amount of the 2021 recovery rebate credit is based on the income and number of dependents listed on an individual's 2021 income tax return. It says families and individuals, you see that, in the following circumstances, among others, may not have received the full amount of their third stimulus check because their circumstances in 2021 were different than they were in 2020. These families and individuals may be eligible to receive more money by claiming the 2021 recovery rebate credit on their 2021 income tax return if you are the following. It says, parents of a child born in 2021 who claim the child as a dependent on their 2021 income tax return may be eligible to receive a 2021 recovery rebate credit of up to $1,400 for this child. <laughs> so if you just recently had a baby, congratulations. You qualify for $1,400. All eligible parents of qualifying children born or welcome through adoption or foster care in 2021 are also encouraged to claim the child tax credit. So if you recently adopted a child or you, you got somebody that you're taking care of and you got that person as a dependent on your tax return, then you qualify for a recovery rebate credit worth up to $3,600 per child born in 2021. So I think that's for people who adopted a child out of foster care. 
So if you, you know, if you're adopting kids, you know, you're help raising some kids that's not yours through foster care, stuff like that. You probably got social workers and stuff involved. You will qualify for a recovery rebase credit of, of up to $3,600 per child. Wow. Families who added a dependent. So if you added a dependent on your tax return, such as a parent, nephew, or niece, or a grandchild, on their 2021 income tax return, it's going to be a whole lot of people filing <laughs> with kids. <laughs> on their 2021 tax return, who was not listed as a dependent on their 2020 income tax return, may be eligible to receive a 2021 recovery rebate credit of up to $1,400 for this dependent. So if you, you know, let's say one of your family members fell on hard times and, you know, you had to help take care of that kid, you know, through 2021 and you're claiming that kid on your tax return as a dependent, you qualify for a $1,400 recovery rebase credit, man. Get your money, man. It's free money. <laughs> and then like free money. Single fathers, so I guess if you file by yourself, who had an income above 80000 in 2020, but less than this amount in 2021. So I didn't, I didn't make above 80000 in 2020, and I definitely had less than 80000 in 2021. So I still qualify. Married couples who... Filed a joint return and had incomes above one hundred and sixty thousand in twenty twenty, but less than this amount in twenty twenty one. So basically, everybody was economically impacted. That's why they call it the economic impact payment. So if you made less than you did in twenty twenty, if you made less than you did last year, this year, then you qualify for the payment because you were affected by this whole sickness going on you know and everything else going on in the world right now shoot you're they said you're entitled to that money man you better stop planning to get that money <laughs> um so we got single filers who had income between 75,000 and 80,000 in 2020 but had lower incomes in 2021 married couples who filed a joint return and had incomes between 150,000 and 160,000 in 2020 but had lower incomes in 2021 and the head of household file filers who had incomes between 112,500 and 120,000 in 2020, but had lower incomes in 2021 may be eligible for a 2021 recovery rebate credit. Individuals must claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit on their 2021 income tax return in order to get this money. The IRS will not automatically calculate the 2021 recovery rebate credit. The IRS began accepting the 2021 income tax returns on January 24th. Wow. So, closed mouth don't get fed. If you don't claim this credit, you're not going to get the credit. And um, they started allowing people to accept, you know, claim the credit when they started accepting income tax returns in January. So, hey, get your money. Free money. <laughs> I could use $1,400 right now. <laughs> I ain't lying. Most other eligible people already received the full amount of their credit in advance and don't need to include any information about this payment when they file their tax return. So if you got your payment already, then you don't need to claim it because you already got it. The IRS issued additional payments called plus up payments. Wow, this is crazy. All this free money they was giving out. To individuals who initially received a third round economic impact payment based on information on their 2019 tax return and were eligible for a larger amount based on information on their 2020 tax return. Avoid processing delays when claiming the 2021 recovery rebate credit. The IRS strongly encourages people to have all the information they need to file an accurate return to avoid processing delays. If the return includes errors or is incomplete, it may require further review while the IRS corrects the errors, which may slow the tax refund. So you better come correct, you know, when you're trying to get money from the IRS because they're going to be looking at everything, you know, 
And if anything is not right or up to par, then you're going to get delayed. <laughs> to claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit, individuals will need to know the total amount of their third round economic impact payment including any plus up payments they received. I didn't receive none of that. <laughs> Did you receive any of that? Let me know in the comments. Where was I at? <laughs> People can view the total amount of their third round economic impact payments through their individual online account. The IRS will also send letter 645, 6, 6475 through March to those who were issued third round payments, confirming the total amount for tax year 2021. For married individuals filing a joint return with their spouse, each spouse will need to log into their own online account or review their own letter for their portion of their couple's total payment. Wow. So they saying that if you got a letter, it says they sent out letters to those who were issued third round payments, but I checked my bank account. I n't get no payment yet. You know, I mean, I, I've been getting my tax returns direct deposit. So, I mean, if they're sending me letters in the mail saying that I got it, I mean, it could be on the way, you know, in the mail. I mean, in on the way to my bank account. I don't know. But they said that they already sent out all the payments and I didn't even get one. So what are they talking about? I'm going to have to claim it on my taxes. So don't play with me like that. <laughs> don't play with me like that. <laughs> you, know, If I would have knew about this money, I would have been claiming this money. What are you talking about? So, for married individuals filing a joint return with their spouse, each spouse will need to log into their own online account or review their own letter for their portion of their couple's total payment. The IRS urges recipients of stimulus payments to carefully review their tax return before filing. Having this payment information available while preparing the tax return will help individuals determine if they are eligible to claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit for missing the third round stimulus payments. If eligible for the credit, they must file a 2021 tax return. So you have to file a tax return to get it. You have to file a tax return and you have to claim the tax credit on your tax return. Using the total amount of the third payments from the individual's online account or letter 6475 when filing a tax return can reduce errors and avoid delays in process processing while the IRS corrects the tax return. So that's good. You know, I'm getting the letter in the mail. I'll be able to go file my taxes this weekend, you know, and, and have that on the way. The Get My Payment application will no longer be available as of January 29, 2021. No, 2022, excuse me. And individuals are encouraged to access online account to view their first, second, and third round economic impact payment accounts under tax records. So yeah. When I went to my tax records in 2020, I seen the stimulus checks that I got. Now, the first stimulus check was $1,200. The second stimulus check I got was $600. And then California sent out a Golden State stimulus check, which I did not be get. I did not qualify for it because I did not have kids. So I only got two stimulus checks. And when I checked under 2021, the third stimulus check, the third round of stimulus checks was there and it was for $1,400. So I did not get that check. I did not get it. And so I should be able to claim that. You can file electronically and you can also get a direct deposit. How good is that? The amount of the 2021 recovery rebate credit will reduce the amount of tax owed for 2021 if you owe any payments or if it's more than the tax owed, then you will be getting a refund. Individuals will receive their 2021 recovery rebate credit included in their refund. So you, you're going to get that on top of your refund. After the 2021 tax return is processed, the 2021 recovery rebate credit will not be issued separately from the tax refund. So you're going to get your tax refund on top of your third stimulus check. So imagine... If you have a kid, right, you're getting money for him. And on top of that, you're getting a stimulus check. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're going to see we're going to see a whole lot more Hellcats <laughs> on the streets, man. A whole lot more Camaros and Hellcats on the streets, man. 
tax funds going to be crazy this year. <laughs> yeah. So, to avoid processing delays, the IRS urges people to file a complete and accurate tax return. Filing electronically allows tax software to figure credits and deductions, including the 2021 recovery rebate credit. The 2021 recovery rebate credit worksheet on Form 1040 and Form 1040 SR instructions can also help. So if you know how to file yourself, you can file online yourself. But um, I have this tax account that I've been going to for, you know, at least the past two or three years. And um, he's been handling, you know, he's been helping me file my um, tax return. So, I mean, you can do it yourself. And you can also have it set up, you know, to have direct deposit to your bank account with your tax return on top of your tax return. <laughs> it says anyone with an income of 73000 or less, including those who don't have a tax return filing requirement, can file their federal tax return for free. So even if you don't, even if you didn't, get a W-2, you can still file. I mean, people are going to be getting it. <laughs> people are going to be getting this stimulus check, bro. People are going to find ways to get this stimulus check. You better believe it. <laughs> Just like they did the PPP. So, if you, if you had a kid in 2021, if you made less than you did last year, then you basically qualify for this stimulus check. It says, if you didn't get the full amount of the third economic impact payment, you may be eligible to claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit and must file a 2021 tax return, even if you don't usually file taxes. So even if you don't usually file taxes, you can still file and claim this $1,400 Stimulus check. It's crazy. Your 2021 recovery rebate credit will reduce any tax you owe for 2021 or be included in your tax refund. So if you owe money, they'll just this will help you, you know, soften the blow. But if you are getting a refund, you're going to be getting that refund. And on top of that, you're going to be getting this $1,400 stimulus check. So it says if your income is $73,000 or less, you can file your federal tax return electronically for free through the IRS free file program. So... The fastest way to get your tax return is to file electronically and have it direct deposited, contactless, and free into your financial account. You can have your refund direct deposited into your bank account, prepaid debit card, or mobile app, and you will need to provide routing and account numbers. If you didn't get the full amount of the first and second stimulus checks, you may be eligible to claim the 2021 stimulus checks, and you have to file a 2020 tax return even if you don't usually file taxes to claim it. So if you haven't filed taxes for 2020 and, and you didn't get stimulus checks through 2020, I'm pretty sure everybody got stimulus checks. A lot of people did in 2020, but if you didn't, you may be eligible to claim those too. So here is the eligibility requirements once again. What are the eligibility requirements for this $1,400 stimulus check? The requirements for the 2021 recovery rebate credit are the, are the same as they were for the third stimulus check, except that the credit eligibility and amount are based on your 2021 tax year information. Third economic impact payments are based on your 2019 or 2020 tax year information. If you didn't qualify for the third stimulus check or did not receive it, you may be eligible to claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit based on your 2021 tax information. So if you didn't get it, you're eligible to claim it. If you receive the full amount of your third stimulus check, you won't need to include any information about it when you file your 2021 tax return. You receive the full amount of your third stimulus check if the total amount was $1,400, which I did not get. I got one for $1,200 and I got one for $600. That's all I got. So if you got a check for $1,400 for a eligible individual, see, so if you're a single person and you did not get a $1,400 check, then you qualify. 
$1,400 for an individual who will, has a valid social security number or a $2,800 stimulus check for married couples filing a joint return if both spouses had a valid social security number or if one spouse has a valid social security number and one spouse was in the active member of the U.S. Armed Forces at any time during the year plus $1,400 for each qualifying de dependent. So if you got $1,400 for your kid for each of your kids who has a valid social security number or you adopted them, then you already got it. <laughs> if you didn't get it, then you better claim it because that's free money. Generally, if you were born a U.S. citizen, a U.S. citizen or U.S. resident alien in 2021, you are not a dependent of another taxpayer and you either have a valid social security number or claim a dependent who has a valid social security number or ATIN number, that's adoption number, you are eligible to claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit. Oh, let me read that one more time for you guys, more clear. Let me read that more clear because this is proof that everybody qualifies, including us, without kids. Generally, if you were a U.S. citizen or U.S. resident alien in 2021, you are not a dependent of another taxpayer and you either have a valid social security number or claim a dependent who has a valid social security number or adoption taxpayer identification number, you are eligible to claim the 2021 recovery rebate credit. Ain't nothing like free money. This is RPU, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Say, niggas been hustling, man. You understand? Niggas been hustling. Say, we been catching the bus too long and not on. You know what I mean? You got a new car? Yeah, man. Look at my shit. Uh-uh. Hey. So you mean hey. to tell me this what the fuck you don't spend 5000 on? Hell, man. Hell no. Baby. Baby. No, no. Say, fuck that.